Hi everyone, welcome to Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Plovdiv is Bulgaria's second largest city and it really is a hidden gem. It's really a city that not many tourists go to, but it's actually a fantastic place to be. So many ancient ruins, it's a really lovely city, lovely architecture, and it's a very chilled place to be. So what I want you to do is I want you to drop a comment in the comment section if you have been to Plovdiv before. So drop a comment in the comment section, have you been to Plovdiv? And also tell us whether you like the city, would you return to the city? Or also maybe you're from Plovdiv, so also drop a comment in the comment section as well. If you're from Plovdiv, do you like living there? Is it a nice city in your opinion? So please drop a comment and tell me what you think of Plovdiv and whether you have visited before, because I really highly recommend it. It's a really, it really is a hidden gem to visit in Europe. So as you can see here actually, here are some of the ancient ruins that you will see in the city and they really are scattered throughout the entire city. So everywhere you go, you will see some kind of ancient ruins and monuments. And in fact, one of the top attractions to do in Plovdiv is to see the Roman amphitheatre. I've actually got a video coming very, very soon, which is gonna take you around the Roman amphitheatre in Plovdiv. It's one of the top things you need to do in the city. It really is a spectacular thing to look at. So I've got a video again coming on that very, very soon. So do subscribe to the channel, please, because you will get to see that video very, very soon. And also please do click subscribe because it does help me out. It does really help the channel grow. I really do appreciate everyone who clicks the subscribe button because it really, really helps. So click the subscribe button right now. And also please do click the thumbs up, click that like button, click thumbs up. It really, really helps me. So thank you so much. Make sure you do it right now. Don't forget to do it. It really helps. But as you can see here throughout the city, it's a really chilled city. It's very lively, but very chilled at the same time. You have lots of cafes and little restaurants. And actually at the end of the video, I'm going to show you one of the meals that I had when I was in Plovdiv. Plovdiv really does have good food and as does the rest of Bulgaria. Really tasty meat, salads. It's very similar to Greek food. So if you like Greek food or if you like Turkish food, you'll certainly like the food you get in Bulgaria. And here are some more ancient ruins as well. That you'll certainly see in the city. Well, if you are actually planning to come to Plovdiv sometime soon, I highly recommend that right now you click onto the description of this video, so click onto the description. The top link is a link that will allow you to buy guided tours and also audio guides of the city of Plovdiv. So if you are planning to come, I really recommend that you click onto that link and you purchase a guided tour or an audio guide of the city of Plovdiv for when you arrive because it just gives you so much more context in terms of the city, the history, and it really is a historic city. There is an argument that Plovdiv is actually the oldest continuously inhabited city in all of Europe. So it really is a city steeped in history. So I definitely recommend that you click onto that link and you purchase a guided tour or an audio tour of the city because you do learn more about the city. You can also use the link to purchase a day trip from Sofia. Sofia is the capital of Bulgaria. So if you are short on time, you may want to do a day trip from Sofia instead rather than actually staying in Plovdiv. I do recommend, even if you do a day trip, I do recommend that you come to Plovdiv because it really is a lovely city. And in fact, personally, I prefer Plovdiv over Sofia, personally speaking. But even if you can't stay overnight in Plovdiv, do try and book a day trip from Sofia. Again, you can use the description link to do that. But personally speaking, I would recommend that you actually stay overnight in Plovdiv because as you can see from these clips, it's just a lovely city. Lots of cafes and bars and restaurants. It's really chilled, ancient ruins everywhere. It's just a really nice place to be. So even if you stay for one night, it's a fantastic place to come. I would recommend two nights and two days. That would probably be ideal to get a real flavor from the city. It really would be a good weekend trip to do, especially if you're from Europe. It would be a good weekend trip to do because there's so much history and it's just a lovely relaxed city to be in. Now in terms of getting to the city, how will you get to the city? So you're probably going to fly in to Sofia Airport and then it's probably best to take the train from Sofia train station from Sofia Central train station down to Plovdiv train station. That's probably the way you will get to Plovdiv. Also, Plovdiv does have its own airport, but I think it only flies to London. So if you live in London, then you can actually fly direct to Plovdiv. Um, but if you don't live in London, then you're probably going to fly into Sofia Airport. And then from Sofia, 
go to Sofia Central Station, take a train from Sofia Central train station to Plovdiv. That's probably your best bet to get to Plovdiv. So again, if you click onto the description, in the description, you can purchase flights and accommodation to Bulgaria. So again, look at the description, scroll down to the link where I say flights to Bulgaria. You can purchase flights and accommodation to Bulgaria using that link. So again, I really recommend you do that, especially if you are thinking about coming to Bulgaria. Bulgaria in general is a really relaxed country, much like the city of Plovdiv itself. It's really relaxed, really chill. People are really nice, friendly people. So it's definitely somewhere to come and check out if you've never been to Bulgaria before. And it is very historic. Similar to, you know, Greece and Turkey, there's so much history, ruins and lovely architecture, as we said before. So I definitely recommend that you do try and come down to Bulgaria if you do have some spare time to do so. And especially Plovdiv, because I think Plovdiv, for me personally, was the highlight of Bulgaria for me. I do personally prefer Plovdiv over Sofia. I think the architecture is nicer. I think there's more history to the city. Although Sofia, don't get me wrong, Sofia is a city full of history too. But when I say history, I mean you can see ancient ruins in Plovdiv, as you can see in Sofia as well. But I do think Plovdiv is a, it's just a nicer place to be in my personal opinion. Now, if you are actually planning to go to Istanbul after visiting Bulgaria, you can actually take a bus directly from Plovdiv bus station to Istanbul directly. So you can do that if you're interested in maybe going to Turkey after Bulgaria. And also in the other direction as well, if you're coming from Istanbul, you can go direct by bus over to Plovdiv in Bulgaria. It's about a seven hour journey, including the border control, including getting through the, the Bulgarian Turkish border, which will take a little bit of time, but it's about a seven hour journey in total. I recommend that you travel with a bus provider called Metro Bulgaria. So Metro Bulgaria, you get a really comfortable experience. You actually get served tea and coffee on board um, on the bus, which is actually a very nice experience. It felt like being on a first class flight. So it was a really nice experience. I do recommend Metro Bulgaria as your bus provider to travel from Plovdiv to Istanbul or back in the other direction. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the thumbs up right now. Click the like button, click subscribe if you've not already done so. Please do it right now, it really does help the channel. And one more thing as well, if you've never been to Plovdiv before, and if you've seen the video, drop a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think of the city. Do you like the architecture here? Do you like the vibe of the city? And comment if it's somewhere that you'd like to visit. So having watched this video and having seen this clip here, would you like to visit Bulgaria? And would you like to visit Plovdiv in the future? So if you've never been before, drop a comment in the comment section. And also if you have been, as I said before, drop a comment in the comment section. Is it your favorite city in Bulgaria? And what do you like about the city itself? So yes, I really do hope you are enjoying this video so far. Now, please do stick to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you one of the most famous and important dishes that you want to eat when you come to Bulgaria. So it's a really tasty dish. It's a traditional dish. It's something that you certainly, certainly should eat when you come to Bulgaria. So do stick to the end of the video because you will get to see that. And also a restaurant recommendation as well that I would recommend for visiting Plovdiv to eat these dishes but as you can see here you've got another amphitheater here now this isn't the famous roman amphitheater that i highly recommend you visit again i've got another video coming on that soon but you do get these small little amphitheaters as well scattered across the city and more ancient ruins too there is so much history to see in the city so it's just fantastic if you're into your ancient history your ancient ruins definitely definitely make sure you come over to Plovdiv because it's fantastic for that kind of thing. Now if you are interested in going out to some bars and some pubs in Plovdiv there is a district of the city called Kapana which is full of bars, cocktail bars, pubs where you can go and get a drink and it's really vibrant and lively at night so I've actually got a video coming out very very soon on the Kapana district of Plovdiv. So definitely make sure you've subscribed to the channel. So click subscribe again if you've not done so already because I do have a video coming out very, very soon on nightlife in Plovdiv. And the nightlife is all centered around the Kapana district 
of the city. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. Maybe it may be pronounced Kapana instead, but I think it's pronounced Kapana. So Kapana is your nightlife district full of bars, cocktail bars and pubs as well and restaurants too. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do have a video coming on that very, very soon. Now, if you are a big party animal and you like your big nightclubs and your big parties, to be honest, I don't think Plovdiv is the best place for that kind of thing. I think you're better better off going to a bigger city like Istanbul or maybe coming back to Bulgaria in the summer because in the summer, Bulgaria has lots of beach resorts by the coast where there's lots of nightlife and parties in the summer. So if you are a bit of a party animal, I think your best bet would be to go to somewhere like Istanbul or to the Bulgarian coast in the summer. But if you do like relaxed pubs, bars, cocktail bars, I think Plovdiv is fantastic for that kind of nightlife where you can just sit back, chill, relax, have a few drinks. It's not really a wild city to go partying, but it is somewhere where you can relax, enjoy yourself and enjoy the nightlife. In terms of currency in Bulgaria, they use the Bulgarian Lev. That is the currency they use. They don't use Euros, it's Bulgarian Lev. Most places take credit cards. You don't need to worry about taking cash out mostly, but if you are going to some bakeries or some coffee shops, for example, you may need some Bulgarian Lev in cash. There's ATMs throughout every city you go to in Bulgaria, so I do recommend you do have a little bit of Bulgarian Lev on you. Um, but you don't need cash in most instances. In most restaurants and bars, you can use a credit card. Now, in terms of the language they speak in Bulgaria, it's Bulgarian, that is the language they use. And the alphabet is different from the alphabet we use in the West. We use the Latin alphabet, but in Bulgaria, they use the Cyrillic alphabet. So it is a different alphabet. You will pick up some of the letters as you do travel around Bulgaria and also other countries like Serbia, where they also use the Cyrillic alphabet too. You will pick up letters if you spend enough time there, but you don't need to learn Bulgarian when you come to Bulgaria because most people in restaurants and bars all speak perfect English. You may get some people in bakeries, some older people who can't speak very good English, but it's all fine because you can still communicate using Google Translate if you need to. And most people, you will encounter in bars, cafes, restaurants, all speak fantastic English. So you don't need to worry about learning much of the language, but do learn how to say basics like hello and thank you, because locals really do appreciate that. And also as well in Plovdiv, there are lots of green spaces. So there's lots of parks and green spaces where you can relax and have a walk through. It's really nice, especially in autumn, you get to see all the, the colorful leaves on the trees. And autumn is actually quite a good time to come because the weather is still very good in Bulgaria around September, October time. But in terms of somewhere to eat, I recommend you go to somewhere called Happy Grill. It's a grill restaurant where you get lots of meat, lots of barbecue, Bulgarian meat. And you definitely need to try the shop skirt salad. So it's this salad that you can see right now. It's kind of like a Greek salad, really tasty. And definitely try barbecued meat when you're in Bulgaria because Bulgarian food is all about the meat. So if you are vegetarian, unfortunately, <laughs> you'll have to suffer because the food is really good and very meaty.